Octopus Flux is a new energy deal from Octopus Energy, and in today's video, we're going to tell you how it's not just for solar customers. In fact, if you've got a battery or a vehicle to grid system, you could actually make some profit from Octopus Flux, and we'll explain exactly how, including the rates. Now, if you're not already an Octopus Energy customer, check out evnick.com forward slash energy, where there's a link to all the Octopus Energy tariffs, not just this one, and a link to all the videos I'm going to be doing across Octopus's energy services, and a referral link to split £100 with me if you sign up to Octopus Energy. To qualify for Octopus Flux, you're going to need a few things. You're going to need a smart meter that sends half an hour data to Octopus Energy. You're also going to need an MCS approved battery or solar system for export. And that's so Octopus can get you an MPAN number for the export of energy. Now, if you already have both these things, you may be wondering why would you pick Octopus Flux for your export over some of the other deals that Octopus have for export. Now, before I go into explaining that, let's look at the costs. Now, for my postcode region, these are the prices. Your postcode region will differ ever so slightly by one or two P, but the times will be exactly as we're quoting now. So flux rate is 2 a.m. to 5 a.m., and that's 20p for the import, but 9.45p for export. So obviously, 2 a.m. to 5 a.m., they don't want you to export any energy. Uh, you may notice the import there is a bit higher than what you're normally used to on some other octopus deals, but we'll get back to that. The peak rate is 4 p.m. till 7 p.m. Now, the peak import rate is 46.66p per kilowatt hour, and the export rate is 37.44p. And the day rate, and that covers any hours that we've not mentioned, uh, that is an import rate of 33.33p and an export rate of 23.45p. Now, if you're a solar only customer and you have miniature import, then this deal is probably for you because you're not going to be exporting during the 2 a.m. and 5 a.m. rate because, well, the sun's not out then. And the day rate and the peak rate you're more likely going to be exporting during those rates. Now, you might be importing some during the peak rate, but like I said, if you're a miniature import already, it's not going to make a huge difference because of those huge gains you're going to get out of the export rate. However, if you also have a battery, then the world opens up. That's because if you're a battery customer, you can switch all your export to the peak rate. So you could charge it all up from your lovely solar during, you know, when it's sunny and export all during the peak rate from Octopus, meaning you could earn 37p a kilowatt hour, which is a cracking amount of money, really. Now, if you're a battery only customer, you can still benefit. You could charge up at 20p of the flux rate and export during the peak rate. Now that is 17p profit per kilowatt hour. Now this doesn't take into effect how efficient your inverter is, how efficient your battery is and the losses. So do some calculations. I'd also advise you if you are battery only, you need to check on the size of your inverter. Many inverters can only charge at say two kilowatts. Some inverters can only export at 3.68 kilowatts. So if you are using, say, four or five kilowatts during the peak rate, your inverter will not have enough power to power that your house and also export. So you're not going to really benefit. So do the sums, work it out. There's a spreadsheet at evnick.com forward slash energy to try and do some sort of sums and work it out for you and give you a bit of a hand. Now, if you're a vehicle to grid customer, it gets a little bit more complicated and we'll get back to you guys in a minute. Now, if you have an EV, solar and battery, this is where it gets a little bit more complicated because some of the other deals that I'll be discussing on this channel, like Octopus Intelligent, Octopus Go, they offer 12p and 10p off-peak electric. Now, you can't have outgoing Octopus on those deals. You can only have the Octopus uh, standard sort of uh, export rate, which is a lot, lot, lot lower than the export rates we're doing on here. So I suggest you do your sums. It's at evnick.com forward slash energy. Use that spreadsheet. Try and do some sums on how much export, how much import you're going to do and look at the total cost between the two because it's going to be different for every single one. So there's no one piece set of advice. Now, I think this deal is made for vehicle to grid. In fact, if you've got a vehicle to grid capable car at the moment, a vehicle to grid capable charger, then I reckon if you're not a big mileage driver, you'll make about £2.50 a day. And that's because the flux rate's three hours. So if you're doing more than 20, 30 miles a day, it's probably not going to be enough to charge the car if you, and discharge the grid, if, especially if you're doing 100, 200 miles a day. Three hours will not be enough to 
provide those kind of ranges. So you might want to look at some of the other Octopus deals. However, you are 20, 30 mile range, £2.50 a day for discharging, powering the house. It's probably worth doing. If you are looking at this video at late 2023, 24 or moving forward 25 and there's a couple of CCS vehicle to grid cars on the road at the moment and you're looking at that and a non-vehicle to grid car, then my advice would be get the vehicle to grid car. I know Elon says in the past that you should only buy a car that can do full self-driving in the future and that's going to be the be all and end all of cars. Well, I think he's got a slight point, but the bigger point I think is if a car can't do vehicle to grid, you don't want to buy it because vehicle to grid and storage for the national grid and any national grid all over the world is going to be extremely important. And that £2.50 a day, I think will get bigger and bigger and bigger. It'll be like £4, £5 a day as they use the vehicle to grid systems to balance the energy grid as we go to more renewable tech. The advantage of vehicle to grid is you've got a bigger sort of input rate to the car so it can charge a lot faster and export a lot quicker. Now, if you don't think this deal's for you, then maybe check out this video on Octopus Cozy. And if you're interested in batteries, then maybe check out this video I've also done on battery tech.